In the Den with the TRU Wolfpack. It's the rubber match game three. The winner goes to the Canada West Final Four. UVic hasn't been since 2005. TRU has never been. The Vikes jump out to an early 12-7 lead, but Emma Piggin scores six straight points to give TRU its first lead of the night. UVic, though, take a 20-18 advantage into the second off this Jessica Renfrew three-pointer. But in the second, the Wolfpack go up 28-27 on this nifty tip pass by Jory Duxbury over to Shanice Sigsworth. But the Vikes retake the lead as Cassandra Goodis rips it out of Cassie Colonna's hands and then at the other end, seconds later, she hits a three, 30 to 29 Vic. But Michelle Boss responds with a three of her own, 33-32 TRU. Then it's Duxbury joining the three fest. Wolfpack led 37-36 at halftime. The Vikes go on a 6-0 run out of the break. This is Goodis with a two, they're up by five. But as much of the series is gone, TRU gets it back to even. Then Duxbury drains a three. The Wolfpack have a 56-53 lead after three quarters. Buckle your seatbelt for another wild fourth quarter. The game tied at 62. Tasia Warsfold hits a three ball with over six minutes left. TRU builds its lead to seven with two minutes left as Warsfold feeds Sigsworth for the easy two. But here come the Vikes. They go on a 6-0 run to pull within one at 73-72 on this Amira Giannatasio 2 with under a minute to go. Then the Vikes, after getting a stop, go ahead. It's Goodis again, two of her 20 points, 74-73 UVic with 26 and a half seconds left. Doesn't look good for the pack. Duxbury misses here, but there's Michelle Boss who cleans it up to put TRU back in front by one with 20 seconds left. The Vikes need a score, they milk the clock, and in the corner it's Shaylin Crisp with a three, and Uvic takes the lead 77-75 with two seconds left. There's still a shot, but like game one, the inbound goes to the Vikes, and Uvic wins another thriller 77-75 to advance to the final four and eliminate TRU. We could play 10 games in a row and it would probably be a similar ending. And, um, just once again, a lot of respect for TRU. And, you know, Scott is a great coach. They got a great coaching staff. You know, I, my my heart breaks for Jory. You know, I have watched her for the last five years, and she's an incredible player. Um, you know, it's 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 sad to see that team get knocked out because they've had a great season. I am proud of the kids. There's no question. It was only nine short years ago and nobody would have given a crap if we lost our last game because we weren't going anywhere anyway right. and they were just waiting to hand in the uniform and move on so there's a lot of people that you know are shedding tears and are upset and and uh, that that means that they're invested in what's going on here and and i couldn't be prouder it all just boiled down to one shot both teams played their hearts out uh we grinded it out we we played some of our best basketball and that's all you can really ask and i mean it's unfortunate they hit a great shot and we ran out of time